Hello, everyone, and welcome to River City's High School Football. Tonight, we're in Airline Stadium, where the Airline Vikings are hosting the Southwood Cowboys of Shreveport. Southwood's coming in tonight's game 3-1, and one, and Airline's coming in 1-3. and three. Southwood's done well this year, and it's because of their balanced attack. They have two fine running backs and a fine quarterback, Chess Lyle. Airline will have to shut them down on defense tonight in order to win tonight's game. Stay tuned to River City's High School Football. We'll be back with more after this. What am I going to do? I'm lost. No one around. If I could only find a landmark. Something to depend on. What's this? Find the landmark of life. Read the Bible. A message brought to you by First Baptist Bossier. Well, we're about ready to get kicked off for tonight's game. As you see, the captains for both sides. The Southwood Cowboys meeting the Airline Vikings tonight here at Airline Stadium. And you see the Cowboys coming out onto the field. And I small but dedicated crowd of followers from Southwood. By the way, this is Airlines homecoming. And here come the Vikings to the near side of the field. Back to receive for Southwood is Lane Coleman and Derek Graham. And kicking off for the Vikes is number 32, Eddie Plaza. And kicking off homecoming for the Vikings, taken at the 21 by Lane Coleman at the 37, and wrapped up by a host of Vikings. Cade Harville in on the tackle. Let's take a look at the starting lineup for Southwood. Chess Lyles at quarterback, Anthony Moranto at running back, Marcus Pipkins running back, Derek Graham, Billy Walker at wide receiver, Andy Lapsevic, and Jeff Hammer also wide receivers. Those are the offensive weapons that Southwood has. And here on the first play, Pipkins gets the call. Not a whole lot there. In fact, a loss of about two. It'll be second and 12 from the Southwood 25. Double slot formation. Southwood looking to pass. Lyles gets one out there for Pipkins. As you can see, Lyles has a pretty quick release. Threw it slightly ahead of Pipkins, and uh, it was incomplete. It'll be third down for Southwood. Double slot formation again. Single setback. And they give to Moranto, and he's wrapped up real quickly. So Southwood will have to punt away. Moranto is the uh, punter also. Sid Haley takes it at his own 35. He's across the 45 and is finally down at about the 47. Sid Haley on the 13-yard return, 40-yard punt. Let's look at the Viking offensive weapons. Terry Chauvin at quarterback, Eddie Plaza, Jason Davis at running back, Sid Haley, Brian Barty, and Sonny Smith receivers. And we'll see a lot of Sid Haley, I'm sure, tonight. Chauvin gives to Plaza, and he's across midfield to about the Southwood 48. Pickup of about three. It'll be second down and seven. They spotted at the Southwood 49. Plaza again inside, down to about the 45. Tackled by Corey White. Third and three for the Vikings. They have good field position. Jason Davis going right, and nothing out there. Southwood's pursuit shuts down the outside, and it'll be fourth and two for the Vikings. Robinson to punt. Riker Rob Robinson to punt for the airline Vikings. Standing at about his own 42-yard line. Robinson with no pressure. 
And it may go into the end zone, and it does. And they'll bring it back out onto the 20, where Southwood will again have possession of the ball. No score here in the first quarter. First and 10 for Southwood. Chess Lyles, the quarterback, gives to Maranto, and Maranto breaks a couple of tackles and uh, almost fumbled the ball as he put it down as he went down, but that is not a fumble. It'll be second down and five. Tackle last time by Johnson. Double slot formation by Southwood. Lyles back to pass, looking left and complete to Jeff Hammer. Fumbles the ball at the end of his reception, but that won't matter. And a big first down for Southwood. And a trap to Maranto. Maranto hit hard at about the 40, and he gets on across to about the 43. Where it'll be second and two. Pickup of eight on that nice run by Maranto. Lyles looking to pass, now looks back to his left, and it's complete to Jeff Hammer. And a first down for Southwood at midfield. First and 10 for the Cowboys. Lyles back to pass again, had a little, uh, little pressure, and overthrows Lapsovic. Defending out there, Eric Ramsey. It'll be second and 10 at midfield. Slot right formation, or double slot, I should say, and a single setback and a flag. Illegal procedure on Southwood. That'll back them up five. It'll be second and 15 from their own 45. Lyles back to pass again, under pressure. Now running out of the pocket, finally gets it away, complete. Keith Watson coming up with the reception. He's three yards shy of a first down. It'll be third and three as Southwood moves down to the airline 43. Again, double slot formation, single set back. Lyles gives to Maranto, he's got the first down. Down inside the airline 40. And we're seeing that same formation by Southwood again. Lyles looking to pass, getting a little pressure. Finally gets the ball off, throws it away in the direction of Pipkins. And Corey Brown looking like he wanted that interception. Lyle's getting some pressure, a screen pass complete to Maranto in the middle. Finally wrapped up by Damian Hunter. It will be third down and four at the airline 33. Lyle's rolls right, now decides to keep it and is pretty much tackled at the line of scrimmage. Again by Hunter. It'll be fourth and four for Southwood. They will go for it on fourth down. Lyle's looking to pass, looking downfield and off the fingertips of Billy Walker. And incomplete and airline will take over on downs. No score here in the first quarter. Airline first and 10 from their own 33. Draw a play to Plaza. He's got some room and almost up to the 40. Pickup of six. It'll be second down and four. Tackle by White. Airline operating out of the eye from their own 39 yard line. Pitch out to Jason Davis. Tries to turn inside now, and not a whole lot there, but he did pick up about three, but he's be about a yard shy of the first down. Third and one. Plaza gets the call. Straight ahead, first down airline. 
up to the 46 yard line. First and 10 from the 46. Chauvin to pass, looking for Eddie Plaza. The ball thrown a little too low as Davis dives, uh, is Plaza, rather, dives for it. It'll be second and 10 for the Vikings from their own 46. This time they line up in a slot right eye formation. Pitch out to Davis. Davis turns inside for about six. As, he, as Davis crosses midfield to the Southwood 48, third and four. Slot right formation. Chauvin looking for Haley and a lateral, but we have a whistle. Um, no flag, but we do have an inadvertent whistle and we'll play the down over. It's still third down and uh, four. Chauvin looking again for Sid Haley. Overthrows him and gets a shove out of bounds. And it'll be fourth down and four for the Vikes from their own 48. Rob, Riker Robinson to come in and punt as you watch a balloon drift across the field. Riker Robinson. Snaps kind of high, gets it away, kind of a line drive kick coming toward this near sideline. And bounces down to about the Southwood 15 where Southwood will take over first and 10, still no score. Chess Lyles, the quarterback, gives to Pipkins. It'll be second down and eight, a pickup of only a couple on that last play. And Maranto tries to move the ball up the middle, and he does for a few yards, but not a whole lot there. And we have a face mask penalty on airline. So instead of third and about six, it's now second and two. And the quarter ends with no score. Southwood nothing, airline nothing. As we move into the second quarter of play. Again, it's second down and two. Southwood operating from their own 23 yard line. And a pass out in the right flat. Incomplete. Believe it was intended there for number 83, Andy Lapsovic. It'll be third and two for Southwood. Lyles looking way downfield for Derek Graham. And it bounced in and out of his hands. It looked like the defender, Sid Haley, got his hand in there and may have broke that play up. In any event, it's fourth and two. Southwood will punt away. Maranto to punt. Sid Haley lets it bounce. And it'll be dead at about the 33 where airline will take over. So, so far in this game, we've traded ends of the field. Airline in an I formation. Southwood looks like they're off sides and they give to Jason Davis as he tries to turn the corner. And Davis picks up a few finally at the end of that run. Not a whole lot outside for airline tonight. They have not been able to run outside. It appears offside Southwood airline will take the penalty. It'll be first and five from the 38. Chauvin keeps the ball being rushed. Uncertain whether it was uh, to be a pass or not. Looked like he fumbled at the end, but they say he was down. It'll be second down and eight. Loss of three. I formation again. Chauvin pitches out to Davis. Davis again trying to turn that corner. He turns inside and runs over a few folks and picks up about three. But airline now will be facing third and five from their own 38. Chauvin rolls right looking to pass. 
Now getting some pressure. And wow, what a tackle. Damon Bryant throws Chauvin to the ground and Chauvin a little bit slow in getting up. Riker Robinson now coming in to punt. And it's over his head. And Robinson fumbles it. No chance to go anywhere. And Southwood will get the ball at the airline 21. So a big break for Southwood as the Vikings mishandle the punt and give the ball to Southwood at the airline 22 is where they spot it. Moranto gets the call on first down and he gets about three straight ahead. It'll be second and seven. Moranto gets the call again, finds a gap up there, and is close to a first down. In fact, I believe he has it down at the airline 12. Southwood threatening to score here. Vikings turning the ball over to them. First and 10 at the 12. Lyles rolls right to pass, looking for Lapsovic, and complete at the four yard line. So now it will be second and goal, or second and two. It'll be second and two. They can conceivably get a first down. Second and two at the four. Moranto gets the call, and touchdown Southwood. Anthony Moranto comes up with the touchdown, and now to attempt the extra point is Willie Lopez. Kick is up and it's good. And Southwood takes the lead over airline seven to nothing with 7.32 left to go in the first half. Lopez to punt for the Cowboys. Southwood taking advantage of that opportunity that airline gave them. Here's the kickoff. And it lands at about the 25, taken by Jason Davis. He's across the 25 and across the 30. Down to about the 32. Terry Chauvin, the quarterback for the Vikings. They show an eye formation. Pitch out to Davis, coming right. And Davis tries to cut inside. They haven't really been too successful with that all night. As uh, Southwood's pursued, they've just shut down the outside game. It'll be second down and eight, pickup of about two. And a little delay to uh, Jason Davis as he's hammered. Loss of about two, depending on where they mark where his forward motion ended. Third down and ten for the Vikings. Looking pass, I'm sure. Chauvin back to pass. He's got time. And he catches Sid Haley coming inside. And oh, it'll be very close for a first down. I'm not sure that he got it. Very close, and it will be fourth and one. Riker Robinson to punt. No mishandling this time. Line drive punt taken by, uh, looks like number 21, Tony May. And so Viking, the Vikings stop him at his own 33. It'll be first and 10 for Southwood. Lyles looking to pass. He's got time and overthrew his intended receiver, Lapsovic. It'll be second and 10. Lyles quickly gets the ball out to Moranto and wrapped up by the Vikings.
It'll be third down and four at the 39. Lyles rolls right looking for Lapsovic, and he's got it. Across the 40, the 35, finally down at about the 30. Lapsovic makes a tremendous catch as the ball was really, really high. Let's take another look at it as Lyles rolls right. And Lapsovic reaches up and grabs it, breaks a tackle. Haley tries to bring him down and finally does at about the 30. It'll be first and 10 for Southwood from the airline 30. And Lyles attempts to run. Well, he's doing a pretty good job of running the ball himself. And it takes a whole bunch of Vikings to bring him down. And there's a penalty. Face mask on the airline, so it'll be second down and one at the 21. Maranto gets the call. He's got the first down, almost breaks that tackle. And he's down about the 16. It'll be first and 10 for Southwood. Single setback. Slot left. They give to Maranto again. Straight ahead. He gets past the line of scrimmage and is finally down at about the 11. Pickup of about five. It'll be second down and five. High formation this time for Southwood. Lyles looking to pass. He's got time. Floats one out there for Lapsovic. And I don't know if he could have had it or not, but it sure would have been pretty if he had. Almost had that one. It'll be third and five for Southwood. Lyles looking right to pass, complete to Maranto, and he's knocked out of bounds short of the goal line. But it'll be first and goal now for Southwood at the two. So Southwood knocking on the door again. They give to Pipkins, and wow! What a hit by Jason Davis, and he fumbles the ball, and Airline comes up with it. Damian Hunter comes up with a fumble after Jason Davis put a big hit on Pipkins. Here's a replay. You see Davis just comes through the line. No one picks him up, and he fumbles the ball. So Airline turns Southwood away on a first and goal. Airline deep in their own territory, but they kept the Southwood Cowboys from scoring, and that was what was important. Chauvin gives to Plaza maybe a yard, not too much more. It'll be second down and nine. Sid Haley out wide left. And they give to Plaza again for about another one yard. It'll be third down and eight for the Vikings from their own seven yard line. Jason Davis gets the call going left. He breaks through into the secondary and finally tackled at about the 25. And Jason Davis gets a big first down for airline and gets them deep out of their own territory. It'll be first and 10 from their own 24 Plaza now. Coming inside for about three. Second and seven at the 27. And if, <laughs> well, I believe we're going to have illegal procedure. It looked like uh, the Vikings weren't sure of the count that time as everybody moved. Second down and 12 now as they back up five. And another false start on the left side. And so that will back the Vikes up another five yards on illegal procedure. It'll be now second down and 17 from the 17. Chauvin now has to run out of the pocket on pressure. Finally gets it away. Really throws it away as he intended that for Freddie Dawson. And illegal motion call on airline is declined. It'll make it third and 17 from the 17. Airline running into trouble now. Is there in a slot right formation? Chauvin back to pass, under pressure, and is sacked. So Darren Rimmer sacking Chauvin, and that's the end of the first half with the Southwood Cowboys leading the airline Vikings 7 0. We'll be right back after this. Yeah. 
And now the Airline High School homecoming court. The first Viking made is freshman Tiffany Didonato, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Grant Mesker. Tiffany's being escorted by her stepfather, Mr. Grant Mesker, and 1967 championship football player, Mr. Mike Seal. The next freshman made is Brittany Mitchell, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Lynn Mitchell. Brittany is being escorted by her father, Mr. Lynn Mitchell, and 67 football player, Mr. Kurt Matthews. Our first sophomore mate is Kelly Knight, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. R. W. Knight, Jr. Kelly's grandfather, Mr. Gerald Hollier, is escorting her tonight while her dad escorts her older sister, Kim. She is also being escorted by 67 football player, Mr. Bob Grosjean. Our next sophomore mate is Stephanie Reed, daughter of Dr. and Mrs. Ken Reed. Stephanie is being escorted by her father, Dr. Ken Reed, and 67 championship football player, Mr. Mike Timms. The first junior maid is Miss Laura Joslin. Laura is the daughter of Mrs. Betty Joslin. Laura is being escorted by her great uncle, Mr. Vernon Brazelton, and 67 championship football player, Mr. Ronnie Keith. The second junior maid is Mary Montgomery, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Charles Moranto and Mr. and Mrs. Jim Montgomery. Escorting Mary tonight is her stepfather, Mr. Charles Moranto, and 67 football player, Mr. Rick Robinson. Our first senior maid is Kim Knight, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. R. W. Knight, Jr. Kim is being escorted by her father, Mr. Rufus Knight, and 67 football player, Mr. Ron Henry. The next senior maid is Jennifer Sewell, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Curtis Sewell. She is being escorted by her father, Mr. Curtis Sewell, and 67 championship football player, Mr. Chevy Knight. The big blue band, sweetheart, is Holly Kirkland, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. John M. Kirkland, Jr. Holly is being escorted by band captain Lee Creel and Holly's dad, John M. Kirkland, Jr. The ROTC sweetheart is Miss Jackie Buffington. Jackie is the daughter of Mr. Jack Buffington and Mrs. Joyce Buffington. Jackie is being escorted by Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Robert Burns and Colonel William Adams. Karen Branch is the 1987 football sweetheart, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Maxie Branch. Karen is being escorted by 67 Viking football player, Mr. Larry Jones, and Mr. Maxie Branch, Karen's dad. And the 1987 homecoming queen is Miss Tammy Alley, the daughter of Mr. Justin Alley and Mrs. Diane Alley. Tammy is being escorted by her father, Mr. Justin William Alley, and 67 championship quarterback, Mr. John Piazza. Principal Dr. Philip Haley will present flowers and a crown to the queen with the help of Todd Rader and Ashley Williams. And that's this year's airline homecoming court. Tammy Alley, the homecoming queen this year. We'll be right back with more River Cities football after this. Boy, putting together a bicycle can really be a hassle, especially if you've tried to do it like I've done it, and that is without the directions. But now that I have the directions, it makes it so much easier. I'm Fred Lowry, pastor of First Baptist Bossier. Sometimes we try to put our lives together without the directions, and like this bicycle, it doesn't come out right. God has given us a beautiful set of manufacturer's instructions called the Bible. Take a look in God's Word and discover the directions for your life. 
We're about ready to resume play on River City's football as halftime comes to a close. Southwood leading airline seven to nothing. And here comes Lopez kicking off for Southwood. The ball will be taken at about the four yard line. Jason Davis with the ball finds some room on their right side as he crosses the 30 up to about the 35. A return of about 30 yards. A fine return by Jason Davis. It'll be first and 10 for airline at the 34. Chauvin, the quarterback for the Vikings. Looking to pass. Hit Sid Haley is open at about the 40. Pickup of about eight. So airline comes out throwing the ball. Second and two at the 42. Chauvin on a little delay to Plaza and nothing there. In fact, maybe lost a yard. It'll be third and three now at the 41. Chauvin looking to pass, drops one out quickly to Jason Davis and he may have the first down. He knocked out of bounds at about the 45 and it is a first down and 10 for the Vikings. A lone setback as Davis is out in a slot right formation and a little delay to Plaza coming back against the grain and nothing there. No gain, it'll be second and 10 again for the Vikings. Chauvin looking to pass on a quick pass to Sid Haley and I'm not so sure that somebody didn't get their hand on that and it'll be third and 10 now for the Vikes. Chauvin threw that last pass under some pressure. Now lateral out to Haley as he's moving right. And Haley picks up uh, about eight yards out there, but it'll be two yards shy of a first. Riker Robinson to punt away for the Vikings. Not any pressure for him. And the ball bounces. Uh, I thought for sure that it was going to be returned by Derek Graham, but it's not. And so Southwood will take over first and 10 at their own 21 yard line, 26 yard punt by Riker Robinson. Chess Lyles, the quarterback in the backfield. Moranto is a lone setback they give to him. Nothing there. He's bounced pretty quickly by Pat Stenson and company. It'll be second and 10. Again, one back. Lyles looking to pass. Hammer out on the left side. Comes up with a reception as he's tackled by Jason Davis and Torrey Brown. It'll be third and four as Jeff Hammer picked up about six on that pass. Lyles looking to pass. Rolling right under some pressure and lets the ball go. Doug Johnson putting on the pressure for the Vikes and now here's the punt by Moranto taken at about the 32 by Haley. He tries to reverse his field and nothing there. Southwood wraps him up. 37-yard punt by Moranto. It'll be first and 10 for the Vikings at their own 37-yard line. They trail by seven. Plaza gets the call on the right side and he's got some room out there. Close to a first down, maybe a yard shy as he picked up about nine. It'll be second down and one. Plaza again and not a whole lot there, but I believe it was enough for a first down as he crossed the 46. It'll be first and 10 at the 47. Kind of a funny looking wing left by Vikings. Some refer to it as the veer. Davis gets the call and nothing on that outside and there really hasn't been much there all night. When the Vikings have run outside, it'll be second and 10, no gain.
Southwood looking anxious as they give to Plaza and Plaza gets about uh, oh let's say about six and a personal foul called on Southwood. I'm not sure if that was a I guess that was a blatant face mask is the way they referred to it. It'll be first and ten at the thirty three as the Vikings get a big break. Chauvin gives to Plaza. Plaza's got some room as he's down across the twenty. Inside the 20, down to about the 17. As Plaza finally breaks a big one. First and 10 at the 17. Chauvin gives to Davis. Davis trying to run outside, and he's got it this time. He may go all the way. Touchdown airline. Jason Davis on a 17-yard run. And Eddie Plaza to attempt the extra point. It's up and uh, no good as it's off to the left. So airline one point shy of tying it up. Here, let's look at it again on the replay as Davis gets just, it's just a foot race on that outside. And he's got plenty of room to run to that corner. And they score. They trail Southwood now by one with 534 left to go in the third quarter. Plaza now to kick off. And the ball taken by Lane Coleman at the 25. He hands off to Derek Graham, and there's nobody out there. He's got some room. He may go all the way. And finally, they get him out of bounds. Torrey Brown coming up with a big tackle, saving the touchdown. But a big return down to the 30 and a uh, penalty on Southwood. Way back there, a clipping penalty. Wipes out that long run. It'll be first and 10 from the 30. Out of the eye, they give to Pipkins. And Pipkins on a second effort gets about four. For the Cowboys, it'll be second and six. Single setback now. Slot right. Lyles looking to pass. And the ball batted. Hard to see who got their hand on that, but the ball batted away intended that time for Derek Graham. Third down and six at the 35. Lyles rolls right. Finally lets the long one go. Wide open is Lapsevic, and he's got a big catch at the 28-yard line of the Vikings. You'll see here on the replay, Lyles rolling right, throws it just short of crossing the line of scrimmage. Lapsevic wide open at the 30. And comes up with a big reception for the Cowboys. It'll be first and 10 at the 28. They give to Moranto. And Moranto rolls ahead for about five. It'll be second and five from the 23. Lyles looking to pass out in the left flat to Hammer. And if he had thrown the ball on the numbers, uh, probably would have been intercepted by Torrey Brown. So it'll be second, or rather third and five. Lyles going back to pass, no pressure. Complete to Lapsevic in the middle. And the ball fumbled away, but they say he was down. As you see, Lapsevic split that uh, defensive posture of airline. And their line had kind of a split zone on either side of the field. They threw to Lapsevic right in the middle. Now on first and goal, they give it to Moranto. And he moves the ball from the seven down to about the five. Of course, that zone coverage gets a little bit tougher when you get down toward the goal line. Lyles rolling right. Finally throws it quickly, incomplete. Intended for Graham. Third and goal at the five. Pipkins gets the call straight ahead. Touchdown, Southwood. Marcus Pipkins coming up with the touchdown for the Cowboys. 
Willie Lopez will attempt the extra point. The kick is up. And it's good. And so the Southwood Cowboys extend their lead 14 to 6 over the airline Vikings with 224 left to go in the third quarter. Lopez kicks off for the Cowboys. Taken by Hunter at the seven. And wrapped up at about the 25, an 18-yard return by Hunter. And it'll be first and 10 at the 25 for the Vikings. The Vikings trying to find their position. And Plaza running the ball straight ahead for about six. Tackled by Damon Bryant. Second and four. Jason Davis moves back to the right side. Handoff Davis running right, and he runs into trouble. Damon Bryant over on that left side just uh, completely uh, obliterated that play. It'll be third and eight, loss of four. From the 27, a quick pass and flags are thrown. Illegal procedure on the Vikings. That will back them up five. It'll be third and 14 from their own 22. Lyles back to pass. Screen pass right to Plaza. And he really doesn't get very far, and flags are down. We'll have to check that out. Illegal procedure on airline declined by Southwood. It'll be fourth down and 14. And another flag. Illegal procedure on the Vikings. I can't imagine what is going on. Fourth and 19 from the 17 as the Vikings move backwards. Riker Robinson kicks one out to about midfield, and it'll be downed in airline territory at the 48. And that's the end of the third quarter. Southwood leading the airline Vikings 14 to six as we move to the fourth quarter. First and 10 for Southwood at the airline 48. Lyles gives to Pipkins. And he gets about three on that right side. And a little quick handoff inside to Moranto. And Moranto picks up about six, just shy of a first down. Third and one at the airline 39. Chess Lyle on quarterback sneak breaks into the backfield. And Torrey Brown comes up with the tackle, but Chess Lyles gets inside the airline 10. It'll be first and goal from the eight. Here's another look at it. The play is just supposed to go a couple yards, and he gets into the secondary, and Torrey Brown finally wraps him up, saving the touchdown. Chess Lyles doing a good job of running the ball, first and goal at the eight. And Chess Lyles runs the ball again. This time, not a whole lot there as they stop him. Second and goal now from the eight. Slot, double slot formation for the Cowboys. And Lyles looking to pass now decides to run it. That could have been a broken play. Probably was. Third and goal. Uh, Lyles picked up about two, scampering back and forth. Third and goal from the six. Lyles looking for Lapsovic. Touchdown, Cowboys. Six yard pass to Lapsovic. That's Andy Lapsovic. And Willie Lopez will attempt the extra point. High snap. They look like they're going for two now. Moranto throws the ball way through the back of the end zone. Flags are down. It's incomplete. Offside airline. They'll get to do it again. Here on the next play, they go for two again. Another flag is down. This time, pass interference on... Airline, this time they're going, this is the third time's a charm. Lopez kicks it, and it's good. 
So our score is Southwood 21, Airline 6, with 9-12 left to go in the game. Here's another look at that touchdown. As Laptovic was uh, there on that quick inside pass, now Lopez kicks off. Taken by Hunter at the 10. Breaks a tackle. Still, still eluding pursuit, and finally tackled at about the 30. And it, that's about a 23-yard return, and we have a flag down. Personal foul on Southwood gives airline a break. It'll be first and 10 at the airline 47. Chauvin back to pass, looking left and over the head of number 36, Hunter. Damian Hunter, Sid Haley out there also. It'll be second and 10 from the 47. Sid Haley is Chauvin's favorite uh, receiver, but was looking for Damian Brown the last time. Now Plaza running the ball straight ahead, spinning. Pickup of a couple. So he gets down to about the 49. Chauvin now back to pass, looking downfield for Sid Haley. It's complete at the 40. And it'll be first and 10 for the Vikes. Let's look at that one more time as Chauvin threw it right in between the defenders. Good throw by Chauvin, well defended. And a good catch by Haley. It'll be first and 10 from the Southwood 39. Chauvin back to pass again. He's got time, now getting a little pressure. Gets it away, looking for Sid Haley. And over his head, and out of bounds. It'll be second and ten. Chauvin looking to pass, looking on the left side for Smith, and way overthrows him, incomplete. It'll be third and ten for the Vikings. Chauvin taking his time and then way overthrows Sonny Smith, who was wide open. And so now fourth and 10. Airline will go for it. Fourth and 10, they need 10 yards. Chauvin looking to pass, looking for Barty, and it's thrown too low. So the Vikings will turn the ball over to Southwood. First and 10 for the Cowboys at their own 39-yard line. As the Vikings couldn't move the ball past the Southwood 39, the Cowboys lead 21 to six. Chauvin, uh, Lyles back to pass, let the long one go. And Sid Haley out there defending against Derek Graham. And neither one comes up with the ball incomplete. Second and 10 from the 39. And a little trap play, and Maranto gets the call, but, uh, and we're going to have a late hit on airline. Personal foul is the indication. That'll march the ball 15 yards ahead. It'll be first and 10 for Southwood from the airline 45. And a little inside reverse to Pipkins, and he tries to turn up field. Not a whole lot there, and flags are down. And I've never in my life seen that signal before. If you know what it is, you can give me a call, but I guess it's an illegal motion or a double illegal motion, for lack of a better term, on first and 15. Pipkins gets the call again. Nothing there as he runs out of bounds at midfield. It'll be second and 15. Derek Graham coming back to the near side of the field. Now Lyles rolling right to pass, getting some pursuit out there. And the ball is, is it complete? It's incomplete to Lapsevic for airline. Damon Hicks was out there putting some pressure on Lyles. It'll be third and 15 from midfield. And getting some pressure complete to Watson. And he steps out of bounds at about the 45. Lyles again threw under some pressure, and now here's punting away is Moranto, and the ball bounces at the 20, and picked up by <laughs> Sid Haley at about the 17 or 18, and bounced out of bounds. It'll be first and 10 for the Vikings from their own 18-yard line. The quarterback now for the Vikings is Riker Robinson. He's also the punter. 
give to Plaza. Maybe a yard, maybe a loss of a yard. Second down 11 from the 17. And everybody on Southwood squad is offside, it looks like. And they give to Davis, and Davis is sacked in the backfield. And offsides against Southwood, so it'll be second and six now. The airline gets a break. They sure didn't want that uh, last play to count. Second and six from the 22. Riker Robinson going back to pass, and big pursuit by Southwood. Wrapped up there by... Darren Rimmer and Edward Gonzalez. Third down from the 12 for the Vikings. And a penalty. Delay of game on the Vikings. And a personal foul on Southwood. So that will put the ball first and 10 at the 22. And we, the, the referee stopped the clock. Now they've started it again. It'll be first and 10 from the 22. Riker looking for uh, Sid Haley, and it's incomplete. Haley a little disappointed in himself. Felt like he should have had it second and 10 from the 22. Riker Robertson, the quarterback. And a flag is down as they give to Plaza. And let's see, we have offsetting penalties. We didn't really see that on our video, but it'll be second down and 22, again, uh, second down and 10 from the 22. Robinson get, uh, look, fakes to Plaza and is sacked by Southwood's number 80, Corey White. It'll be third and 15 now for the Vikings as they just can't seem to dig out of this hole on their end of the field. Robinson back to pass, looking for Sid Haley. And Sid Haley breaks open, but the ball overthrown. It'll be fourth down, and Riker Robinson will punt the ball away. Good kick by Robinson. And the ball continues to roll as number 37, Lane Coleman, decided not to return it. And that'll be a 54-yard 50 yard punt by Robinson and a penalty against Airline. So Robinson has to do it again. Fourth down, 23 from the seven. Robinson gets off another kick. It's a line drive this time. Lane Coleman returns it from the, his own, uh, from the Viking 45, wrapped up at about the 39. As the clock continues to run, we're inside of one minute. Southwood leading airline 21 to six. First and 10 at the 39. Lyles remain the quarterback and gives to Moranto as they run straight ahead on the right, well, run to the right side. It'll be second down and two at the 31. Lyles pitches to number 24. That would be Thomas Bernard. And Bernard picks up a first down to about the 18. First and 10 for Southwood. They're letting the clock run. It's doubtful that they will score if they don't stop the clock. Mor Moranto gets the call. Down to about the 16, a pickup of about two. This will probably be the last play of the game. Second down and eight. Double slot formation. And Lyles takes it straight ahead himself and uh, wrapped up rather quickly as the clock continues to run. And the clock runs out. Southwood wins over Airline 21 to 6. A tough loss for Airline on homecoming night. Airline staying competitive through the first half, but Southwood being real tough in the second half. Let's go down on the field and talk to Ron Worthen, head coach of the Southwood Cowboys. Coach Worthen, congratulations on winning tonight, and uh, your team played really well tonight. Very impressed with your quarterback, and uh, how do you feel like he did tonight? Well, I think he did an excellent job. The airline came out well prepared. They, they covered us in our uh, twin set uh, very effectively. Excuse me, buddy. And uh, 
So we, we had to we had to run out of that particular set, and they put a lot of pressure on us. But uh, Chess made some throws when it counted, uh, and we had uh, some opportunities to roll out. He did a good job on rolling out, and also in one situation when he ran the quarterback sneak for about 30 yards, that, that gave us excellent field position, and we went on in and scored in that particular possession. Well, what was your game plan coming in tonight? Uh, just like it has been for about the last two or three weeks, we're going to try to throw the football, see see what a, a defense, how they're going to play us, what kind of reads they're going to give us as far as throwing, and then uh, try to attack it from there. And if we end up having the, and the situation we had tonight, the airline did an excellent job defensing us, and we just had you know pick and choose, try to see what we could get. And we just it was one of those nights when we couldn't really do anything totally effectively, but we were able to put together enough to, to sustain the victory. The defense played an excellent job. I think we had good pressure on on airline. Of course, airline uh, came out and they were ready to play a ball game. It was, well, your, your line seemed to give your quarterback plenty of time tonight. Uh, you feel like they performed well? Oh, yeah. I think under the, that particular situation, I think they did extremely well because uh, they were getting a lot of pressure and uh, Chess held in the pocket real well. Of course, he had to break out a couple of times and he was able to not to take. I don't believe we had a sack. We had, we were forced out of the pocket and they had to run for it a couple of times, but did a pretty good job. They had, you know, constant pressure, but had good coverage. Airline played an excellent ball game. Well, coach, thank you for being with us, and we'll see you again soon. Thank Appreciate you. It. Next week on River City's High School Football, the Green Oaks Giants meet the Airline Vikings right here at Airline Stadium. Be with us next week.